one of the officers, he called us, had told us that Andre had been tased by one of the officers and he had been put into cardiac arrest. And if we wanted to see him alive, we need to try to come to Florida. And as we were in the airport waiting to catch our flight, we received a call from the medical center saying that Andre had died. Andre Reed was in Winmore Village uh, in the early morning hours of February 22nd, 2015, when he approached a resident and told him he wasn't feeling well and uh, he needed a ride to the hospital. The ambulance came and uh, for some reason uh, the police were called. Residents began to come out of their apartments when they heard a commotion. They saw the uh, police officers uh, screaming at Andre, hitting him, and they saw him uh, tased at least three times, including twice in the chest. That's the kitchen window I was looking from, and this is about the spot that he was lying when I first came to the kitchen window. And then when they kind of got him up, he ran about this far and fell here. When I heard the popping sound, I guess I kind of knew that wasn't a gun. I looked through the blinds and I saw um, this man on the ground on his stomach, and there were four or five policemen around and on top of him. I heard two more sounds and I saw them pointing their tasers at him. And the next thing I heard was a policeman say, is he breathing? Mr. Reed was repeatedly advised to stop resisting by the uniform officers, but he refused to comply. Mr. Reed continued to escalate his violent behavior to the extent that taser used became necessary for the officer's safety as well as for Mr. Reed's own safety. Coconut Creek Police Department didn't release information to anyone about this death for over a week. The media was getting completely stonewalled and couldn't get any answers. There was no police report. It's, I, who's ever heard of a case where someone dies at the hands of the police and there's not even a police report? There's been some reports that I've seen that the officers in your department are not currently certified on the use of taser. You know, uh, that's, that's a question. It's part of the investigation. I really can't discuss that. And finally, the chief of police, uh, Michael Mann, uh, gave a press conference and in which he, he gave a lot of misleading statements about what happened that night that completely contradicted what the independent witnesses saw. And also, he uh, gave extremely misleading statements about the status of the certification of the officers in his department, including himself. What about you personally? You're certified on TASER, correct? Yes, I am. Is your certification up to date? Yes, it is. The Coconut Creek Police Department, under the instruction of Chief Mann, uh, did uh, round-the-clock TASER recertifications in the, uh, the, the week to nine days between this incident occurring and when he gave the press conference. had a great mind, he had a great mind. Uh, he was very smart and he was very personable and did not meet a stranger and had a beautiful smile. Four officers against one person, any two officers could have subdued him. Why use a taser? And why, why was he treated so inhumanely? We believe now and we believe from the beginning, Andre was treated in that manner because he's a black young man. You know, anyone from a child to a hundred year old adult could have been there as a gift to anyone in that community. You know, we were sure that he was here to see somebody. He was yelling, baby, they're gonna kill me. And, and at one point he said, I can't breathe. There was no reason to really think that he climbed over a wall as they tried to say. No one in the Coconut Creek Police Department, except arguably Chief Mann uh, having to resign, has uh, faced any consequences at all. The taser use by the officers for the Coconut Creek Police Department caused his death. The medical examiner's office clearly states that that's the cause of death. We filed a lawsuit against the city of Coconut Creek and the four officers uh, involved in this incident.
to know that we'll never get to see him again. We won't have him here to be with us. Thanksgiving, Christmas, different holidays, and and to be with his children, that's real heart hurting. And it's even worse to know that the mere fact that the Coconut Creek Police Department took his life senseless. For what reason, I don't know. Uh, we don't know, but we're going to get to the bottom of it.